Sorry, I just felt like being really random. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So, this week's video is, I or today's video, sorry, is I thought I'd do a whole side by side. So, I can show you exactly. So, I know that, for example, I would easily forget what came in what day. So, I thought I will sit, I'll sit here, or we'll sit comfortable, or we'll try to sit comfortable in the old living room, and I open the both up. Because obviously, I've already done the old unboxing videos and all that from both. But I thought I'd sit there and show exactly what you get with each one on each day. So that was the plan. That is the plan, sorry. I've, yeah. So I'll sit there, open them both up at the same time. I painstakingly sat there and put everything back in the nap one. Um, just purely, you know, just so I could do this video and show you guys exactly what come in each day and everything else. And then I sat there and um, totaled up, excuse my horrible handwriting, but yeah, did totals for the whole lot as well. So yeah, let's change the angle and so I can show you exactly what we get each day at the same time for each Canada. So I will open both up at the same time and you can see exactly what we get for each day if you say, see if one's better than the other. So yeah, so it's a changing angle and I can show you what comes in each day on this. Right, so first of all, I thought I would go through the differences on the boxes first before we get into the actual advent calendar i thought it'd be quite interesting though she'd do like side by side and everything and compare them and all if you know that apologies about my pink top um it's about five o'clock in the morning so um well, i thought i'd quickly get this filmed as i thought about it and because i sat here and i totaled up all the um I've researched all the values and everything else so we get that done at the end as well so this is catered this is Hahi store on aliexpress first thing i noticed when i opened the catered one is it's a lot brighter this is a lot darker and it's a little bit blurry compared to the catered one and also the doors fold over each other on the cater one. Ha he one, they don't. So yeah, so they basically they've done that so then the pattern in theory carries on. Does it make sense? So it just flows. And this one obviously they don't fold over unless you really pull it tight and I pulled it tight as tight as I could. And then I think the ribbons are almost the same. I think this one's just slightly brighter than the Hahi one. Right. So. There's one. And there's two. Let's check to make sure I can see both. I hope I can. I can't see because I've got a tripod going through the middle of my screen. Right, so with the catered one, we get this free card. With the yeah, with the catered one, we get this free card. And with the hahi one, this is actually one part one of the doors. So day number one. catered and at day number one from her heat I'll get this uncomfortable a bit more well, I'm gonna be here a while so day number one okay from hey Hahi we got the three multiplacers uh, I researched and I valued them at the point at zero pounds and it's basically 17p for them free. 
from Catered. We've got the two metal tips and I valued them at £5.85p and then ones are branded with Catered on them. Door number two. For he, we've got a keychain and I valued it at point sixty at uh, sixty pence and from catered let me swipe that out we got a whole set of keychains with the diamonds in the actual box we've got five keychains and the drills in the actual box with the hahi one we've just got the one and the drill there in the box i valued that at 60 pence and that is six pound and 49 pence Door number three. We got from Hahi a couple of more the straight in and the single place that I now value that at basically just over eleven pence. It's like point one one four pence. From catered, we got the A B drills. And they are valued at three pound and eighty two pence. Day number four from Catered. We got some more ABs at three pounds and eighty two pence. And at door number four from Hahi, we got. Also, some pink drills valued at £3.82. Door number five. We got the little, little sack. We actually got the drills in with that one. And I valued it at £2.44. And then from Catered, we got a little like knife, pen knife thing. And that is two pounds and eleven pence. Number six. Let's take a break and make because my legs are killing me. From Catered, we, uh, not from Catered, from Hahi, we got some purple ABs and they are valued at £3.82. And from Catered, we got some square ones, some square rhinestone ones, and they are valued at £4.41. Number seven. From Hahi store, we got that's 200 baggies, and they are valued at 64 pence. And day number seven, we got a coaster diamond painting kit, and that is valued at eight pounds and four pence as it's a ceramic one. Number eight. Number eight from the uh, heat store. We got some paper label some labels, white labels. And they I valued them at ten pence. Number eight from Cater Store. We got two rolls of washi tape. And I valued them at. Have I got one more? 
I should take about a pound. Number nine. Number nine from Tahi store. We got a pair of tweezers. And I valued them at one pound and five pence. And from Catered, we got a junk ball, which uh, you put all your junk drawers in basically. And I valued that at £2.97. Number 10, we got more stickers, valued at 10 pence, and then from Catered, we got more of the square rhinestones, and I valued them at £4.41. And Number 11. Number 11, we got a pink macaroon, one of the cheaper ones. I valued that at £1.54. And from Catered, we got the purple macaroon. And I found that one and it was valued at £1.84. It is slightly more expensive because of the detail. We got a blue pen and I valued that at where's it gone? Seven pound and sixty eight pence. I just I gave I, I gave a rough average I gave the average basically because it's more some more expensive some more cheaper so that's what I've done. And this resin pen came from Catered on the same day. As you can see, it's a lot nicer. And I could not find this exact pen on AliExpress. Um, the one on Catered itself is um, £14.64 pen for this exact pen. And it comes with the multi places in the actual box as well, instead of separately. Right, day number 13. Day number 13 is this little centre with some little stick on diamonds. I value that at £1.50. Day number 13 from Catered. We get some more orange rhinestones valued at £3.82. Day number 14. Right. Alright, so day number 14. So from Hahee store, we got a toolkit. I valued that at £1.60. And then from Catered, we got a pair of tweezers and I valued that at I believe one pound and five P. Let me just check. Yeah, one pound and five P. And that was door number 14. Day number 14. Day number 15. Right, so day number 15. From her hey store. These are going to get so ripped for the amount of times I keep opening them. Day number 15, we got the drills for the Christmas card. 
So with the Christmas card in total, I valued it at one pound and ninety-five pence. And so that is one day. And then we catered, we got the Christmas card extra. And then day number 15 from catered. We got some light pink ABs and they are valued at where have we gone? Three pound and eighty-two pence. Day number sixteen. Oops. Day number sixteen from how he thought we got a another a another keychain valued at sixty pence. And then from Catered, we got a little funnel. And that is valued at £1.41. Day number 17. Day number 17, we get the drills for the key rings. So... <coughs> As they split the key rings and drills across six days instead of putting these in a different day in one of the, one of the um, key rings, I split it between six because they have split it between six days. Hence why it's valued at 60 pence each. And then from Catered we get some more blue ABs valued at... Three pound and eighty-two pence. Day number eighteen from Hahi store. We get another fruit keyring valued at sixty pence. And from catered we get some more square ABs valued at uh, AB rhinestone, sorry, valued at four pound and forty one pence. Day number 19, which is the one I was most mad at for the whole lot. Well, for a hay store. Day number 19, we get a beautiful, absolutely stunning green tray valued at. Where have we gone? <clears throat> Green boat, a whole 35 pence. And then from catered on day number 90, we get a very lovely little makeup mirror. And it's an actual kit as well. And that makeup mirror I valued at five pound and thirty pence. I'm running out of space in front of me. Day number 20. From Catered Week, not Catered, from Hahi Store, we get a metal multiplayer. So these are usually sold in a pack of six. So they split a six pack between, um, obviously, six Advent calendars, and we. Uh, the metal multiplacer, this is valued at 41 pence. And for catered, we get some black free tens. Sorry. And they are valued at £3.82. And then from Hahi Store, we get a, another keychain. And from Caters, we get some very dark purple square rhinestones. Um, yeah, 
square rhinestones. And the key change values are 60 pence and the square rhinestones are values of four pound and 41 pence. Day number 22. We get some glow in the dark ABs. They are valued at three pound and 82 pence. And we get more light purple square rhinestones so that values at four pound and forty one pence. Day number twenty three from Hayes Door we get another keychain valued at sixty pence and from Catered we get some white A B's valued Keychain is valued at 60 pence and the white ABs are valued at £3.82. And day number 24. Now I just want to show you the differences in the boxes. This box feels extremely rough. And you can see it's just not printed as nice. And the one for Caters is a lot smoother. And the print is brighter. I don't know if you can see that, but this one is the yellow is definitely lighter than this one. This one is more dull, and the print is not very good on it at all. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the print is not very good at all. So, day number 24 from Hahi Store at AliExpress. We get a Eiffel Tower bookmark. We have to get the drills in with it this time. We have to have them separated like we did the keychains. And that um, bookmark is valued at one pound and seventy-two pence. And then day number twenty-four from Catered. We get this very nice diamond painting pillowcase. And that the diamond painting pillowcase is valued at five pounds and seventy three pence. And of course we get the diamonds in with there and we can always swap some of the ABs out for the ones in here, like the pinks and the purples, we can swap them out for the sparkly ones as well, if we wish to. And then on top of that, all of that we get catered, we also get this Christmas card. I did find this Christmas card. They did alter in value, so I took a rough, the average cost. This is like a three D Christmas card, laser cut Christmas cards. So they're quite expensive. They are, and the Christmas card is valued at two pounds and eighty one pence. I have to say, it is a very pretty Christmas card. So that is an extra on top of everything else. It doesn't um, come as one of the 24s. It actually comes as an extra. So total values for all this. So Happy Store. That cost me £50. And total value is £29.00. 0.015 value we get inside so we get under 30 pounds worth of stuff inside that advent calendar we paid 50 pound for catered we paid 70 pounds for that and we get 105 pounds and 22 pence not including the christmas card including the christmas card we get 108 pounds and two pence 
I sat here for ages, I mean for about an hour and a half going through checking everything else. So yeah, as you can see, I threw it all down and everything else. I did double check to make sure I got it right. You never know, I could have told it up wrong. But yeah, £29 and basically £29 and a penny basically from Hacky Store and AliExpress when we paid £50. So it's a loss of £20. And from Catered, we paid £70. And we get, without including the card, £105.22. So that means we get £35 more than what value wise than what we paid for. So overall, you're better off getting the more expensive one to get your money's worth than going cheaper and thinking, unless you buy the cheaper one and get, but you must have got an empty one and put your own stuff in it because you're losing money with this. So yeah, I would honestly say if you want one that you don't feel yourself, get the catered one. If not, buy an empty one and fill it yourself with whatever you want. So yeah. So yeah, as you can, as you saw, like the differences is quite crazy, really. So obviously, catered to say that they um, you get a, a hundred and sixty pounds worth of stuff in theirs. I think where they've got the hundred sixty, I think they charge fifty pounds or fifty dollars or something. I think they say one hundred sixty dollars. Sorry, but yeah, they said they you get so much so i think that the rest of it is for the actual box itself that's where the rest of the value comes up from um they never said how much the the poop one came up that's the poop one uh they never said how much the um happy one was actually originally worth but even if we take into the cost of the advent calendar you know i've seen them on aliexpress of 15 quid the empty boxes so we still technically i would say you're not getting like more than your money's worth really but with definitely with the catered one i know a lot of people will be saying it's very drill heavy it is but you still get your money's worth obviously as a buyer you know as someone who's buying them that's where your, your value is. Obviously, for them, it won't cost them like £160 to stick everything in here or £108 to stick everything in this box because obviously they get it at a, at a cost value, basically. But yeah, obviously, so that's... Um, so that one was £108 and that one, it came to £29.15 is what we got in the value of that one. So I would definitely say if you... Don't like the fact that we got the catered one. Me, I am a big spares person, so obviously the drills that came in there, I will be using. So they definitely will come in handy for myself. For other people, I can understand like thingy, but I I will message them though and just like make a suggestion, just to try and make make it a bit more Christmassy. Because I do think they could have really hit the nail on the head there if they actually included some Christmas stuff. So maybe like the pillowcase and you know all the just the normal things like the key rings just put the christmas ones in and like a coaster you could i don't know if they do santa ones but maybe just did the key rings and the pillowcase made them christmassy that would have been a huge hit you know so i can understand you know where people are going to be saying no Obviously, the video I've recorded will go out live tonight um, when I opened this yesterday. So I know exactly what's going to be said. It's no Christmas, really. Really, There isn't much Christmas in it. I am going to make a suggestion to them. See, look, if you made it more Christmassy, put a few Christmas or Christmas items in there, that, that I reckon will be a lot better for a lot more people. Or maybe even if they reduce on the cut of the drills because that's where i know a lot of people will be saying as well will be it's very drill heavy i do agree it's very drill heavy you know for me i love me spare drills and all that so obviously for me it's a hit but for other people it won't be a hit because there's too many drills in them for them so it depends on the person really you know 
So I know, I know a lot of people will be thrilled with it because it is there's some beautiful things in that in the advent calendar compared to that that one. You know, we didn't get a, any green boats in certain. You know, as as a, the gift, you know, so we got a couple of green goat boat green goats, green goats. Apparently, there's green goat goats in these <laughs> green boats, but obviously that was with the kits. It wasn't as like a door. One of the boxes was just a green boat in that one. So yeah, um, but yeah, so I I will message them and just suggest like maybe just instead of um, them, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? The put the normal stuff in there. Change it up to Christmas, so that way they will get their money's worth. People will well will feel like they're more getting it's more a christmas advent calendar because obviously it's a merry christmas on the front so you do assume it to be christmas related so yeah it definitely i uh, would be nice if there was just a few more little christmassy items in there so but i will message them to say look guys you know fantastic advent calendar really enjoyed it but maybe swap out a couple of bits for christmassy items because i think that would really really like Thing. or instead of like the drills maybe sticking a couple of stickers you get stickers can't you now um maybe put a couple of stickers in instead you know uh there is a few little bits and pieces they could change up and make the like uh the um i'll show you Pull out the bag, right? Right, you get like ten in a bag of these, and they're just little um, gift tags. You know, so they're not too expensive either. Maybe did that instead of a pack of things, because actually those are actually cheap, cheap to buy than the drills. So that would actually make save money for them, but it's still diamond paint related and Christmas. So yeah. I will make them suggestions to them and see if they're up for listening and all that. I'll, I'll say to them, but I'm more than happy to say to you what people would love next year. So, yeah, so that is just my little, like, what I would personally change. Maybe take one or two of the drills out and swap them with, like, maybe them things. They're cheaper, you know, anyway. So, I, I would, that's what I'd be happy with, you know. I was actually expecting, like, the key rings to be spread out of across several doors, but they weren't. They were all in one box, which was really, really nice. And they are really cute key keychains. Really cute keychains. But they could have just stuck the old Santas and all that in. To me, I know chances are they're trying to think of something that people can use all year round and not just something they can only use at that point at Christmas. So I can kind of must be think like from their perspective, then you know the customer's perspectives as well because obviously we buy as a customer buy it because it's christmas related and we want all the christmas goodies in it but obviously they're thinking of oh what can we give them so they can use it all year round use stuff in there all year round so i can i, I think that is where they're coming from so that is my personal like thought i just realized this is really really scratched up the um the knockoff one <coughs> so yeah that is it for this week till today's video so let me know down below in the old comments of what you thought am i oh i'm bending up the card of the differences like you can see just by looking at the screen i can see the difference cut the differences in them both so yeah please don't tell me that's oh no that's not being shown so yeah that is the differences between both these advent calendars and they're quite a big difference as well like one we're losing money and the other one we're saving money so it's it's a you know it is definitely definitely you do get better things in the catered one i will 110 percent back them up on that definitely you know they do send out a really nice advent calendar i personally think it's, it is me this advent calendar personally so yeah so that is it for this video thank you ever so much for watching and i shall see you all oh please don't forget to leave a comment down below of what you thought about the differences 
um you know, maybe a big thumbs up if you like this video and um if you haven't already please subscribe i'd really appreciate it thank you ever so much for watching and i shall see you on the next video bye everyone and i am going down in the lift bye bye ding 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 ding